M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtel 860, also the UV88 by iRadio. There's some new firmware, 1.04. So let's download it, it's just here. Have a look what it says is in it, and then we'll load it. So it's gone up to my downloads folder after clicking. We'll go to the download. Let's have a look at it. Click this. Double click the folder and let's have a look what this, the upgrade says. So you can see here, and I noticed there's some spectrum instructions, so I'm going to look at them as well. But anyway, list of upgrade. It says fix the problem that made that mode will change after switching frequency. Fix the issue where setting the frequency step shortcut keys would jump to priority. Fix the issue of missing SSB dialog box when switching modulation. If you want to listen to frequency 26.95, it is recommended to enter the single sideband of the radio mode to listen to. The radio frequency band now has been extended to 2 meters and 30. So not a massive difference from the previous one. Um, but I noticed that they, they have made quite a big deal of the new scan instruction. So I'm going to follow these. It says, and it's after 1.02 version. Well, it's a whole explanation of the spectrum scope and how to use it, you know, different push this, that happens, push the other, the other happens. So we will do that in a in a separate video. I think I'll dedicate to the spectrum. So let's run the, the uh, firmware upgrade. We've got the cable connected just where my finger is, twin pin. We're going to right click on the Windows square. Right click, just get our COM port number, device manager. There it appears. And then scroll to ports. And then let's just check we've got a cable plugged in. Hmm, showing 24. One second. So showing here at 24. So let's try that. So we'll hit the upgrade software, just double click it. And it's also built in. So the, the upgrade of 1.04, you don't have to upload it, it's just there, but you do have to connect the COM port. So we'll go over 24. And then we need to get the radio in COM port mode, which is just by turning it off completely, holding down the PTT, as he says it here. Press and hold the PTT key, turn on the radio. So it says it there, sorry about my hand being in the way. And you know when it's in because it goes green, you get green light here, uh, but also the screen stays black. So let's try it. Now remember, if it doesn't work first time, don't worry, just try it again. You can't really brick these radios, you just have to just keep trying. Uh, a lot of people think they've bricked them, but very rare that happens. So go upgrade, and you see the numbers are changing, you've got the slider there. Now I do really like this radio, I mean it's VHF, UHF, airband that works really well and the hf bands work really well um so you know it's a 40 pound radio the i radio uv88 and the 860 both say they've got gps in them it's in the menu but i can't get it working so who knows maybe with some models it does uh, and some 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 it doesn't but anyway it's, it's booted up there lovely so let's just add my i'm going to add my hf antenna to this and to go into HF radio, I just push the bottom button on the left and it'll go into HF. It's just come out of that mode a minute and then push it. Let's see what we get. Yeah, straight into HF. If you're new to the radio, you press the star and you navigate from VFO where you are now with the arrow. See the arrow? Let me see if I can make it bigger here. Right, see the arrow next to the frequency? Just here, it means you can now type the frequency. You see? And then if you hit the star again, it moves it to where it says the channel number. So if you've preset some channels using the software, it will switch around them. And that's basically how you add the name as well. 
So we go up one. It says 40 meters there. So you go into the, you don't go into the normal channel settings. You go into the radio settings. There's a difference between channels on this device and radio, like broadcast radio. And in there, you can change the name. But if you hit the star again, you can change the step. You go up and down with the arrow. Again, the bandwidth, low noise amplifier, and then the BFO, which is the fine tune. Um, and then if you hit the star, put it next to the frequency again. You can go up and down like so. And that's it. And to come out of that radio mode, push the bottom button. And in this one, if you've got VFO and memory, so if you hit this, the hash, Load. zone mode means you scroll through the channels that are in each zone. Frequency mode, Frequency mode means we can now type, so we can type airband. Uh, let's do, actually, let's do 133850. That's airband. And also, we can type in 2 meters 70 times, and we can actually do CB, and I've tested it. If you type in CB in this mode, 27625. Sorry, I had that then, didn't I? And it, and it actually does work, so you've got to go 027. And in this mode, CB actually transmits. Um, so you just make sure you don't break the rules, but it actually does does transmit. So anyway, give it a go. Latest firmware. I think they had a couple of bugs there from the previous firmware, which was 1.03. And I, I uploaded the firmware to my Facebook group and my Radtail 860 group. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.